my name is Moni. And I'm Naveen from Before You Play. And today we have another playthrough for you. This time it is for a game that is currently on Kickstarter called Lunar Rush. This game is designed by Steve and Skippy Brown and published by Dead Alive Games. And in this game, Monique and I are going to be competing for different resources, both on Earth as well as on the moon, and trying to sell them for the most amount of victory points. That's right. We're going to be bringing resources from Earth to the moon in order to mine these moon resources that we're going to sell for a lot of money. Mm -hmm. Or actually, in this case, for a lot of victory points. And so as per usual, we're going to start with a quick teach of the rules and then go straight into our two-player playthrough. But if you're interested in jumping around, we'll include timestamps down below. Now, we do have to mention this is a prototype copy of the game, so things are subject to change in the future. If you are interested in the campaign, there's a link in the description down below where you can check out all the details. And lastly, if you do like these kind of videos and you want to see more in the future, please consider subscribing. And with that, we are ready to begin. So if you'd please direct your attention to the center of the table, we're all set up here for our two-player game of Lunar Rush. Mm -hmm. Welcome to space. Thank you. <laughs> Here we have, of course, the Earth, as well as the Earth resources. And then up here, we have the Moon and the resources that we are hoping to mine. Yep. Each player also has their own Moon base, where we are going to be moving our astronauts around, putting them to work, mm -hmm. getting resources, upgrading our different modules here, so that we can load our ships, bring them back down to Earth, and then sell them at the market for sweet, sweet victory points. For profit. Right. Now we're just going to start with a brief general overview of how the game is played, and then save the specifics for the actual gameplay. And so the game is played over the course of seven turns, and each turn follows the same basic structure of phases. The very first thing that we do each turn is we are going to bid for initiative order. And this is going to be important because a lot of the stuff that we do is going to be in this turn order. That's right. Each player has an identical hand of bid cards, and they're numbered one through five. And so basically, during this phase, we're going to simultaneously select one of these, mm -hmm. reveal them, and then that is the number of victory points that you're going to spend in order to uh, to take this uh, initiative order. Yes, the most spending is the first person that's going to go. Yes, the most the spending. Most spe the most spending, yes. <laughs> the person who spent the most points gets to go first. I'm trying to keep it real succinct. Yes. And this is very important because the next thing that happens is in initiative order, we are going to claim routes to and from the Earth. Mm -hmm. Now, there are a total of six routes on the board right now. Half of them are going from the Earth to the Moon, and yep. the other half are going from the Moon to the Earth. And each side has three different speeds. The green routes are fast, the yellow ones are medium, and the orange ones are slow. And that basically determines how many turns it's going to take before your ship delivers its resources. Before docks, yeah. Yes. The fast routes are going to deliver immediately, the same turn. The medium routes will deliver in the next turn, Two and then the slow ones are obviously going to deliver in three turns. That's right. Now, since we are playing a two-player game, you can choose to either block off routes or you can play with the AI. We are choosing to block off the routes oh. because we were not... Uh, we were not better than the, the AI. The AI was too good for us. <laughs> yes. So this means at the start of each round, we're basically going to flip over an up and a down card, and it's going to tell us which routes to block off so that we cannot claim them. Mm -hmm. Once each player has claimed a total of two routes each, then we move on to the next phase, which is basically loading all of our moonbound ships with resources. Mm -hmm. So had I, say, claimed a fast route, then I would have put my uh, moonbound ship right there. And as you can see on the actual ship spots, it tells you how many items you're allowed to load onto your ships. The fast route can only load two items, yep. the medium can load up to five, and then the slow route can load nine, nine, which is great. And the different things that we're going to be loading are these different types of resources. We have habitation parts, which take up two spaces on each ship. These are the largest uh, resources that you'll see. Uh, we each also start with one. And these resources you're basically going to use for the next uh, upcoming phases in order to create more resources and in order to upgrade your, your uh, moon base modules. To get sweeter uh, modules. Yes. In addition, we also have advanced machinery, which are red cubes, as well as tech, which are blue cubes. Mm -hmm. And these each only take up one space um, on the ship. Lastly, each player has seven astronauts on Earth, which we can start transporting to the moon so that we have more workers for the uh, moon phase. And this is all done simultaneously. Once everyone's done loading, then the ships are going to move. So the fast ship is going to move directly to the moon, and this player gets all their resources in that uh, in that instance. Right. And the medium and slow route ships will just move on to the next space along their route. Then we move on to the moon phase of the round. And so this is where we are going to be moving our astronauts around our moon base and producing resources and such. But before that happens, in reverse turn order, we have the opportunity to purchase gold modules. And so so our moon base basically has five different categories of worker placement locations for our astronauts. We have stuff like basic life support, which when we place an astronaut on that location is going to gain us life support. And life support is a resource that we're going to need to spend each round to feed our workers. Keep your astronauts alive. Yeah, they need to they need to stay alive. And um, any turn in which we are unable to feed an astronaut with their life support, that astronaut will die, which will cost us 25 victory points. Yeah, so you really want to make sure you have enough life support 
for all of your astronauts. Cannot let that happen. Nope. We're also going to be producing energy as well as these different types of resources that you'll find on the uh, the Earth market, such as... Lunarium ore, lunatus shards, right. and different things like that. And so each game, we're going to be playing with a set of eight gold modules. And there are a lot more of these that mm -hmm. are in, included in the game, and we always play with a different set of them. And so these are basically stronger versions of these different modules on our boards. And the cost to build them is at the very, very bottom of each uh, gold module. Strong cost. They're quite expensive, yeah. but they're also quite powerful. Like, this will produce you eight uh, life support uh, resources right. for one worker, whereas the basic life support is only two yep. per worker. Mm -hmm. So they're just definitely much sweeter. And that is what you're allowed to do at the start of the moon phase. You can build one of these. Then if you're playing with the Moon Wonders module, which is what we are doing today, you can start uh, drafting these cards. We're going to leave uh, the, the explanation as to what the Moon Wonders do for the gameplay. Yes. Afterwards, we go to the main point of the Moon phase, which is building and producing on your Moon base. And this is also done simultaneously. You can do uh, two different things, basically. You can build more of these modules onto your board because each player has an identical uh, deck of corporation cards. Yep. And these are basically just a stronger versions of what we already have on our mat, as well as additional modules that we don't even have here. So for example, we have one habit habitation module mm -hmm. that holds up to five astronauts. But if I need to hold more than five astronauts, then I would need to build out an additional habitation module, yep. which would go along the side of my board. Yeah, so this setup that we have here is just for ease of viewing. Right. Um, you technically would have a little bit more space to the side, so we'll improvise as we uh, as we need to. And these modules come in two main flavors. You have the regular ones that'll upgrade the basic ones on your board, and then you have advanced ones that you need to build these ones for in order to get to. Yep. In addition, you can move all of your astronauts around your board, putting them in the worker placement spots and immediately getting whatever resources they produce. And so that we'll also discuss uh, during the playthrough. Once everyone's done with building and producing, then you must pay uh, life support for all of your astronauts and put them back inside their habitation module. At this point, again, if you are unable to pay a life support for an astronaut, that astronaut dies and leaves the game permanently and you lose 25 victory points. So we're going to try our best to not do that today. Yeah, and the cost to keep them alive is one life support per astronaut. Right. But if you find yourself in a bind and you really cannot afford to pay for one astronaut, then uh, you're in luck because after that, we load all of our earthbound ships with resources. And so it's the same thing. Each type of lane um, can load a, a certain amount of items. Mm -hmm. The fast route can only hold one item to sell. Medium is three and slow is seven items. And you're basically going to load these ships with these specific resources that you'll eventually get to sell when they get to Earth. Uh, via the Earth market. In addition to these four types of resources, you can also load at most one astronaut to return back to Earth so that you don't have to pay a life support for them. Yep. Once that's done, then these ships move. Of course, the fast route will get to Earth immediately and they'll be able to sell. And then all of the ships that made it to Earth are going to sell to the market. And that we'll also discuss as we play the game. Sure. But just know that for each uh, space you were unable to fill with a resource, uh, you get one point. So even if you cannot load your ship with resources, you'll still get something for those earthbound ships. Mm -hmm. After everyone's earned their victory points, then we advance the turn marker and we rinse and repeat. There are going to be some other things coming into play, such as closing off certain routes when we get to turn six, as well as the uh, optional Moon Wonders module that we're playing with. But in general, that is the general overview as to what we're going to be doing in the game. All right, are you ready to begin? Yes. Okay, so there is no uh, determining turn order because we're going to bid for that. Yes, so yeah. let's go ahead and start with turn one. Mm -hmm. So... We're going to start actually by closing off some routes. I'm just going to go ahead and flip one card for the up route. And so this is going to close Ooh, the slow. slow route. I'm just going to place close. this card right here sure. so that we know. This is one of the earlier prototypes for some of the cards. And mm -hmm. so the cards are going to be a lot more specific when playing with either the AI or blocking off routes for right. the uh, final copy of the game. Mm -hmm. So that's our up route. We also are blocking off a down oh. route. So down slow. Slow, slow. Okay. I'm okay with that. I like that, actually. Huh. Okay. That's interesting. Interesting. Are you ready to bid? So that means we cannot place our ships on either one of the slow routes. Correct. Meaning you cannot put a bunch of good items to go there to the main. <laughs> You're so making then... it more painful uh, than me. <laughs> okay. I mean, you want to do that early, right? So yes, you can get I know. Early. All right. So I said, okay, I'm ready to bid when I'm you ready are. To bid. Ready? Yep. One, two, three. Reveal. Two. Oh. Okay. Okay. So because Naveed bid more. So I, I spend my two. You're spending one, two victory points. When he spends one. Spending yeah, one. Yeah, we start with 25, by the way. Yes. We start with 25 because we're losing <laughs> we're losing a lot of victory points over the course we of the game. Are. Once we get to turn five, six, and seven, by the way, there is a multiplier on the amount of points that we're bidding. It's 2x, 3x, and 5x. Right. So if we were in those so, last rounds, that would have been four credits for me, or yeah. four points uh, for me spending. Yeah. So it's painful. 
Well then, Naveen, because you are going first, why don't you claim your first route? Okay, I think I want to go up with a medium ship. Okay, well, I can't let you take two up, two routes, up routes, so yeah. I have to, <laughs> I must take this fast route, because sure. that is legal. You could take multiple routes going in one direction. Right. Uh, coming down, you know what? I think I'll go medium down. Okay, guess I'm, I'm just fast zipping around. this turn. <laughs> Okay, now that we've secured our routes, we have to decide what we want to load. This can be done simultaneously. Mm -hmm. uh, so I know I get five items and you get two items going up. Mine's really easy. Okay. I'm just going to load one astronaut okay. and one uh, tech. Yeah, okay. my two items. All right, I'm going to load a uh, habitation part, which okay. costs two of my five. Okay. Um, I'm going to load an astronaut and then I want tech and I'm just going to have a nice little diverse thing, a diverse cast. I like it. Tech and advanced machinery. You won't get them now. So again, this is two, <laughs> but... three, four, five of my five. Yes. So let's move our ships. Um, this is going to make it all the way to the moon. So I'm going to go ahead and just take See, these now. Yeah. But yours slow and steady like that i'm just gonna move the up card yeah. you're not necessarily supposed to put a card here but we're just doing it for uh our ease of viewing yes just in case we make a mistake yes all right so my astronaut comes to me now and i get this tech you have these two item storage cards by the way they're just multipliers to help you keep track of things i'm just going to use the times one storage right yeah, now we have enough resources and if we run out of resources then i'll bring on the other one sure now we move on to the moon phase and at the start of the moon phase in reverse turn order so starting with me i can build a gold module this is definitely not something that we're going to do in this turn in turn one no they cost a lot but of things just so you know there are let's just take a look at what they are there's Habitation parts manufacturing. Oh, you can get two habitation parts. Look for, how much it costs. So it cost you three, two, two, and one. Like six it's, victory it's points, a lot. Six victory points, yeah. Combination mine. Wow, you can sell a bunch of stuff if you build that. Mm -hmm. All right, well, I was just kind of shopping, but uh, I'm not going to build any of these. Sure. Are you? No, no. All right, we skip that. Can. And the Moon Wonders module, we're not even going to think about until turn four. Right. So we're going to move on to the next thing, which is building and producing. And again, this is also simultaneous, but we'll kind of walk you through it. So I'm going to start by placing a worker in my basic solar array. Okay. This spot, it has room for two two workers here, but they each get you a two energy per worker that you place. Sure. So I'm going to go ahead and now, now I have two energy because we don't start with any. Right. And this is going to be important for me because the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my basic life mm. support to the regular life support module. Sure. So now each worker will get me three life support rather than two. This is going to cost me one uh, habitation part, an energy. That's and, why you needed the energy. Yeah. yeah. And one life support. Sure. So that's going to go away. And now this. So you've upgraded that one. We'll upgrade. And yeah. how many points is that worth? Right there. This is worth three victory points three at points. the okay. end. So then um, I might as well. Well. Use it? Are you going to use it? Am I going to use it? <laughs> you don't need to use it right now. I don't. I have enough life support to feed my four astronauts. That's right. So maybe I won't waste that. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll just go to my basic R&O lab, gain two tech. And then okay, so you did that. You got two blue cubes, which yeah, is two tech. Two blue cubes. I have another space here in my basic R and O lab for a red cube. Interesting. Oh, and I only have one left. You have one left. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't think about that. I wanted to get a habitation. Uh, I mean, you could bail out and get your uh, life support. Well, I have a ship going back to Earth, mm -hmm. and I would like to sell. And right now, they're, the, all the, the prices in the market are at their most expensive. So I think I'm going to place one in my basic ore mine and produce a uh, lunarium ore. Mm. So that's going to be one of these. And I'm just going to place them in my item storage. Pretty good. So that's it for me. So now it's to you. Okay. So I know I want to build this ore mine, but I have no resources other than this. <laughs> okay. Okay. So I need to get to this red resource. How I'm going to do that by spending a worker going to the basic R and D lab. R Let's go ahead and get myself. Oh, the R <laughs> I was saying R and O. R and O. Yeah. R and D lab. So this comes here, and then now I'll go ahead and build this out. So I'm going to place this ore mine on top of the basic ore mine. Okay. Put that there. That means I got to get rid of these, unfortunately. One, two. Okay. And then so that gets me three victory points at the end of the game. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and go onto the ore mine. Okay. All right. So it gets you two. Two of those. Oh, you're getting double what I what double. I made. There you go. Thank you. Don't like it. <laughs> And then I only have to feed for three, so I should probably go get some other stuff. So I'm going to go to the basic solar array because I think I'm going to want energy because I might want to build one of these. Okay. All right. Nice. That's me. All right. 
So now that we're done with that part of the phase, we have to return all of our astronauts to our habitation module and then pay life support. Two, so I have to three. go down by four. I have to go down by three. So I'm gonna go to one. Uh-oh, oh boy. Yeah. I'm gonna need to produce. All right, so let's load our earthbound ships. Mine can only hold one item and I do have one sellable Which item. Is... I'm gonna load that. Yeah, I think I, I could load up to, uh, I believe it's three. three items. I could load these two, but I think I wanna hold on to at least one of them for something else. Okay. So I'll just load one on there. All right. And then when this gets to earth, because there's only one of three things on there, I'll also get an additional two points right. for the differential. For each spot that you didn't fill. Mm -hmm. All right, let's go ahead and move them. So the fast always goes first, and this is important, as you'll see when we get to uh, selling the resources. Sure. But I'm gonna go ahead and place this on the fast slot right there. This space is only used in a four player game. So this uh, ship will go there and this one goes right there. Yep. So now that we have a ship that's going to sell, the way that that works is there is a market board over here that dictates the price of each type of resource. Each resource starts off the board, and so the price is always going to be the number that's to the right of, of the tracker. Yeah. So right now, I'm going to sell... The Lunarium Ore. Yeah, Lunarium Ore. So you're going to get nine... Nine victory points. Per. So you can only sell one, right? Because you had one on Yeah, there, if so I had three of them, I would sell all of them at the same price, and then the tracker would move a number of spaces equal to how many I sold. Yeah, it's a it's think of it like a supply and demand on Earth. They don't have these resources, so it's mm -hmm. most valuable now. As Monique sells them, then it becomes less uh, kind of supply and demand, so right. then the, the price goes down. So, so I'm going to get nine victory points. Yep. Uh, during certain turns, depending on how many total resources were sold, that tracker will go backwards, mm -hmm. so it's not gonna just continually go down. Right. But uh, we're not gonna worry about that until turn three. So this goes away. I get my ship back. Ship back, yep. And I believe that's it for turn one. Yeah, we begin anew. So let's go ahead and advance the turn marker. We are now in turn two, and let's go ahead and start by blocking off some routes. Yes. So we have an up route, which the is gonna fast be fast. is blocked Oh no, off. that's not good. Ooh. And our down route it's is slow. Again. slow. Okay. okay, I'm okay, okay with that. That's okay. Uh, am I okay with that? I don't know anymore. <laughs> All right, Naveen, are you ready? Yeah, so we, we cannot bid with what's out there right correct. now. So we have what's left in our hand. Yeah, we, we bid with what's left. Um, yeah, I think I'm ready. All right, mm -hmm. ready? One, two, three, One. two. Okay, okay, perfect. So I am going to go first. You go second. If you can go ahead and move our victory points yeah, down. Yeah, so go down one, you Please. go down two. Here's your bid card. Bid card back from Goes the to previous me. round. Okay, so let's go ahead and claim some routes. Okay, what you got? Slow and steady or medium and steady? I think medium. Let's medium. go somewhere in the middle. You know, I like my porridge so warm. Your stuff. <laughs> not, not too hot. hot. Not too cold. All right, I'll go the slow because I have to. Mm. I'm going to go medium. Medium all the way. Then I'll go slow. We just completely No, you inverted. go fast. I'm sorry, fast, yeah. Yeah, you must be prepared to sell. Prepared. All right, let's load our sure. ships. Yeah. I'm going to place another astronaut on yes, here. That's one of your five. That's one. I mean, you know what? I'm going to place these. Two, three, four, five. Yeah. I kind of regret not doing that on Two, my four. medium. Five. Yeah. So I'm gonna do it on the uh on the slow. I'm gonna put three of these big daddy keys. Wow. On there. So that's, that's two, six. four, six. I don't wanna have to take this action, which requires me to use two of my workers to just get one. You yeah, can't upgrade fair. that, but I don't wanna have to do that. So that's <laughs> uh six, seven, okay. and I think I just wanna do a nice little diversity of a blue and a red. And there we go. So that is eight and nine. We are loaded. Nice. It's take a little while, but we're loaded. All right, let's move these ships. So, oh, Naveen, it's your lucky day. My lucky day. So you get this This is what I've been waiting for. All of the wonders that are on it. Yep. There you go. I'm going to go ahead and move forward one. And Slide you on get in. to move your, yeah, your slow going to be a little while. That's going to be a nice payday. It's going to be a nice little while. <laughs> uh, let's go ahead and just remove this. Sure. Since it it's done. no longer blocked. Okay, Naveen, started with you. Would you like to buy a gold module? Are you I, ready? I don't think I am. I mean, I have all this stuff. I don't think that everything costs so many of those habitation cubes, so I am not going to be. Yeah, ready. the habitation parts are super important, think, but they are so hard to keep hold of. So Except we know for a fact we can't buy them if you don't have at least two. All eight of these require at least two of those cubes. So Got it. We can kind of just skip that if we know we don't have it. Get two. Get two. That's my, that's that's my next goal. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and start by uh, go to, going to my basic solar array. I need more energy. So that's going to be one, two. More power. I'm also definitely going to need more life support. So I might as well put... Let's get it done now. Yeah, don't, don't forget about worker it. Worker now. Yeah, so this is going to move me up to four, which I, I'm, I'll be good at. Yeah. Um, and then I'm going to upgrade my basic R&D lab so to a regular one. Do it. The reason why I want to do this is because instead of uh, two tech, I will get three. three. And it doesn't cost me any additional resources to produce the habitation 
um, cube, I would just need to put two workers there. So this is going to cost two of my tech, one of these red uh, cubes, and two energy. Mm. So that's why I needed to produce the energy. So that's going to go there, and that's going to get me five victory points, five points at the end okay, of the game. Okay. And unfortunately, <laughs> I did not plan my astronauts properly because I'm not going to be able to load anything on my ship. That's good. It'll be worth three points when it comes in. Because I have tunnel vision. I have tunnel vision for my, my current plan. So I have to place these two astronauts in my R&D lab. So one is going to get me three tech. Stuff. Yeah, and the other one is going to get me one of the uh, red cubes. The advanced machinery. The advanced machinery, yeah. So now I just have all this stuff because of my grandmaster plan. Well, that's good. I mean, you have cubes coming in. For the next turn, yes. And everything costs uh, those habitation cubes. Right. So. Okay, I know for a fact that I'm running at a deficit in life support, so let's go ahead and build up this life support, the one that you did earlier. Perfect. Okay, so it's going to cost me a cube, energy, and, and uh, life, support. life support. The thing yeah. that it gives the you. The thing that it gives you, <laughs> yes. Uh, so let's not waste any time and forget. Let's go ahead and put one in right now. All I'm right. getting three back. One, two, three. So I'm at five and I owe four. So that's not bad. Not bad. And while I have it, let's go ahead and get some more ore going. Okay. Some things cost ore. Right. I get two more. I'm jealous. Yeah. I really should have produced something, but more I did ore. not. <laughs> and then uh, what's coming to me? Just nothing's coming to Nothing. me as of right now. And if fast an extra... gets blocked off, then nothing really is coming to me. Right. So let's go ahead and come on down and get uh, two from the basic r and I'm going to get two technology. Yep, there you go. And then you have one last. Yeah, the last one is probably going to come on over to the solar array to get two energy. One, nice. two, there we go. Beautiful. That's it. All right, let's go ahead and move our astronauts back to our habitation yeah, module and pay... Cost. It's going to cost me support. four. I think it's you four also. Yeah, it cost me all of it. Scary. So down to <laughs> it's one. a scary position to be in, Con especially considering I have an astronaut coming in next yeah. round. All right, are you going to load anything on your I will load. Ship? I'm going to load just one of these uh, gold. Okay, I'm not loading anything. I don't have anything that, that uh, I can sell, so that's that. So let's go ahead and move them. Uh, this ship is going to go straight in to fast. Naveen, this is a nice payday for you because mm -hmm. this medium ship also makes it to Earth. Yep. So you're selling twice. Selling twice. And with the... my, my nothing <laughs> yeah. moves forward. And before I forget, because yes. it, it was loaded with uh, less than three, I'm going to get two points just for that. that yeah, you don't have to um, remember actually because this, this right will there? tell us what ah, from what it uh, lane us. it came from. Thank you. So we always uh, sell from left to right, always starting with the person in the fast lane. Mm -hmm. So let's go ahead and do that now. What is the price? Uh, it's nine. So this so is going to get you nine, nine points. So that will scoot over. Yep. Okay. And then the next one is going to get me... So go ahead and, and give yourself nine points. Okay. Because we are still in turn two, we don't have to worry about the market moving backwards. Sure. So I'm just going to go ahead and put this back now. This um, allows you to have three items. You just have one. I get two. So you get two points yeah. for the other two spots. And then now it's eight. So yes. it's going to slide on over. So I get eight more. For this. So what do you got? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Eight. Okay. And there are two different markets, by the way, that the at least this version of the game came with. There's one that has kind of like a staggering uh, price. Mm -hmm. We just went with the the one that you're supposed to play with if it's your first game, because mm -hmm. the prices are just going down. All right, there you go. Thank you. Good job. Thanks. And that is it for turn two. Let's move on to, to turn three. three. Okay, let's block off what some are we routes. Blocking off? We're blocking off medium. medium. Ooh, that's good. Oh no, that's, that's bad. Interesting. And slow. slow again. Wow, they just love their they slow love route. They love the slow route. Nothing yeah. for us. It's unfortunate. All right, time to bid. What are you thinking? Hmm. I'm too scared to yeah, I'm a little, bid uh... anything. All right, I'm going to bid with this. Yeah, I'm going to go with this. One, two, three. Two. One. <laughs> I don't want to <laughs> spend my gonna... points. One, two, one, two, okay, uh, the whole way through, right? I'm okay with that. So you're going first? Yes, I'm going to spend two. Yep, I'm going to spend one. You spend one. All right. Oh. Here's your... I don't even know if I want first pick here. Like, pick this is... Well, you get first pick, so <laughs> which route would you like? Like, slow, slow is not looking good. Mm. Oh, boy. You know, I think I got to go fast. Oh. I don't want to. I have like, to take the slow route? You do have to take the slow route. So you have to really, like, think what's happening three rounds from now. Considering they took the slow down route, I need to start... I need to make points. Oh, you're going to go I'm there first. I'm the down route first, which means you can technically... Claim a second up route. Really? If you want. Yeah. Okay, I will. I will uh, do it. Let's do it. This might be a big mistake. I will do it. <laughs> well, I have no choice. So here we go. At least I can send over 
uh, four things. So oh, I'm here to sell. You're well, to make some money. Well, you're the only one loading ships. Sure. So go for it. Unbelievable. So I can load a total of 11 items, but only two of which are going to come to me right now. I know for a fact I'm going to need one of these cubes. Okay. So I'm going to definitely put that there. That locks that one out. Now what the heck am I going to do over here? Nine items. Nine items, it's yeah. Like a good position to be in, but also hard to plan that I, far ahead. I can't tell how many workers I need because you have that habitation module that allows yeah. for another like set of them. Yeah. But that means you have to build that place out. I think I will put one worker on there. So that's one of my nine. Okay. I'll put a cube out there. So that's three. And then let's go ahead and just load it up with two of these. So what is that at? Five? Yes. Two, three, four, five. Uh-huh. You have four more. You know what? If I know I'm going to have to build a habitation module, I might as well have another worker out there. Okay. Because if, if I have space for it, right, yeah, I yeah. might as well build it. Doing big things, I see. I want to. So let's go with two advanced uh, machinery. And I'm going to do one more tech. I think that's me. That's going to be me loaded with nine. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine because of that. Amazing. So. That's a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. Hopefully I can use it. All right. Shall we deliver these? Yes. So this goes to you. I get this that is fast. right away. So you get that. Thank you. Uh, I get this at least. So at least it's not a nothing. No. This will go away. Yeah, this will slide in. Mm -hmm. And now these are kind of gearing up to do something for me. Nice. All right. So I do have a fifth astronaut. I have to be very Mindful cautious. Of yeah, you got to gotta get yourself some life. I, I do. <laughs> I really do. All right, moon phase. And this is the moment I've been waiting for. You had your eye on something? I, yes. Since I am the uh, the one in lower, lower initiative order, right. I get to build a gold module first, and I want to build this one. This is a combination mine. Oh, that's why you had it on that's, top. Yes. So you wouldn't lose sight of it. Right. This is going to cost me two of these uh, habitation parts, two tech, um, one of these machinery wow. parts and an energy. So it's quite expensive. Yes. But the thing that's nice is in addition to it getting giving me six victory points at the end of the game, for one worker, it's going to get me three each of the lower tiered resources, mm -hmm. the shard and the ore. So, so that'll be helpful for the rest of the game. That will be very nice. All right. I'm going to tuck this one <laughs> just like Yeah, that's, that. that's good. All right, Naveen, are you going to build one? Uh, no, I will not be building one. Okay. So we are in turn three, so we're still ignoring the Moon Wonders. We'll do that next turn. Mm -hmm. And now let's go ahead and do all our stuff. Sure. I am definitely going to go to the life support module twice because I am in deep need of life support. I don't want to lose any of my astronauts. Okay. I'm definitely going to my combination mine, which is, is going to get me three of these. Okay. And three of these. What you got? So that's a nice, that is a nice combination. That's a little payday. Yeah. So I can finally load... My ships with stuff. Good stuff. Then I'm going to use my last two astronauts to get one of these uh, very important, as you probably are gathering now, uh, habitation parts. And right. that is all my astronauts. So I'm done. Okay. I know for a fact I'm going to need to get uh, some life support. So let's go ahead and just get that on there. So if my one goes to four. That's everything I need to feed. So okay. we will just leave that there. Nice. Now, I think I'm going to bring in a new... Structure. Okay. We have a Lunarium Refinery. This is going to allow me to produce this type of resource here. This one. Yeah, that's this over here. It has a starting price of 22. Yeah, it's a Lunarium Metal. It's Yeah, if you, for every one sold, it's 22. Yeah. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and build this. So it costs me cube. Uh-huh. Uh, two of these uh, gold. Okay. Two then, of those. Wow. Uh, one two of the tech, ores. Yeah, two ore, and then one tech, and then one um, advanced. advanced machinery. Nice. So there it goes. So let me just put these yeah, in, in the here. appropriate spots. Very good. So this technically goes here. Uh huh. So I'm just gonna. Where should we do this? Do you want to put it just here? Yeah, I think I'll put it here just to kind of continue on with what we got going on. All right. Okay. So this would technically be here, but just yeah. to make it a nice, easy viewing. Yeah. Put it there. So let's go ahead and get myself some ore. Okay. So I get two back. Yep, the two that you spent. The two I spent. You need to replenish your ore. I do. Okay. Now remember, you're not loading any ships. I'm not loading, so. but it would be nice uh, to potentially load. That's a good position to be in, actually. Yeah. So now that I'm here, I, m I might as well, while I have the stuff, I'm going to go ahead and use that Lunarium Refinery. I'm going to spend the two ore that I got. I'm going to spend two energy. Yes. And now we get... This specific space, if, as, if you can kind of see, it has a worker here, but in the same box, there are some other resources, and that is part of the spending requirement mm -hmm. in order for you to develop 
the thing to the right. Yeah, exactly. So, so one, two, I already spent the uh, energy. Yep, you get one and of now these. Now I get one of these, brand spanking new. That's nice, it's gonna be 22 points. 22, yeah. And knowing that I have this building here now and this, yep. this uh, module over here, I'm gonna want more energy. So I'm gonna go ahead and just one, two. <laughs> Always wanting more in a game. More. That's everybody? That's it. Okay, so go ahead and return your astronauts and pay. So I have to pay four. Your so life pay, I'm down to zero, that's I not good. That does not to, feel good. I have to pay five, that's right. And I've you could load out. a ship with one of them. No, 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 okay. no. I I value my family. These are my family members now. Mm -hmm. We are a team, mm -hmm. <laughs> we stay together. Mm -hmm. Okay, so let's go ahead and, oh, I guess it's just me. I'm gonna yeah. load my ships. I have one item here, three items here. So I do have these. Is it time? Okay, I'm gonna load my fast ship with one of these. Okay. The shards. Sure. And then this one, I'm going to load with all three mm. of my ore, just like Making that. some sales. So all my spots are filled. Interesting. All right, that's it. We're okay. done loading. So let's go ahead and uh, move these ships. This is going to go and land. Oh, I just realized. I just realized that this isn't selling now. Not now, but because this is round three and uh, nothing will be sold. It's going to go it's back. It's going to go back to its baseline. Oh, that's perfect. Yeah. That's exactly what I want to do. So this is going to... Go straight to the market. Uh, this will go next into the medium spot. This will go out. out. And then let's go ahead and move these up. We've got that, this, and that. And that. Okay. Okay. So um, let's go ahead and sell this. Yeah, so you get the shard. The so shard. it's going to cost, it's going to be eight. Yep. Eight so let's get you eight points. points. So you're at 38. Uh-huh. Okay. And then... Uh, I'm only I'm only selling one of these, so we're in turn three. Does yeah, it so move back any? It's so, because you sold the one to two in turn three, it's going to move back two spaces, so it's going to go right back to its normal. Yes, and all of those space. instructions are right here in the small text yeah, here, small so text. it'll be a lot more apparent when it's you know in front of you. Mm -hmm. uh, and this one, it's a medium route, but I didn't sell anything, so just one point per item that I didn't put on there three. for a total of three. That's good. So. Three. Is it good? Yeah, I think the. I think so. Could have been better, but. You have this thing now. That's yeah. going to be a killer. This will be. I don't like that. Very helpful. I yeah. really wanted that. No. <laughs> All right. That is the end of turn three. We're going to move on to turn four, or uh, some new things are going to come to play, mm -hmm. uh, specifically the Moon Wonders right. module. So let's go ahead and move this. And we must now bid. Um, well, let's see what gets blocked off. That way we right. know what we're bidding for. Here we go. Up fast. fast. Problem. 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 I can't get any resources anymore. Ooh. Down fast. Eee. That's not as much of a problem. All right, I am ready. Ready. One, two, three, one. four. Oh my gosh, you bid one. One. <laughs> I was so scared because of the the limits the, here. The, the reason is because I have these two big ones coming in, so it's like eh, I'll I just... overpaid. I yeah. overpaid. So I spent one. And now you spent four? One, two, three, four. It's neck and neck though. That's but you have some good stuff lined really up. Doesn't feel good. <laughs> <laughs> well you get first bibs, so it felt quite awful. Yeah. Um, okay, well I'm gonna take this medium route now while I still can. Oh. So Naveen, you have some options. This is the last time for the slow route, huh? This is not the last time. Next turn is gonna be the last time for the slow route. Uh -huh. huh? After that, we're gonna have to block that off because it, it won't have enough time to get to the moon. Yeah. Yeah, I, I I can't be blocked out of resources coming up. I'd like uh, to have some sort of stay. I, let's go slow and so, steady. Oh, okay, that one. I mean, sorry. Medium and, and, <laughs> Medium and, 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 kind of and steady. less steady. Okay. Well, then I guess I'm forced to take this one. All okay. Right, that's me. All right, let's load these ships so I can load five items. It's been a while since I've loaded an up ship. So, all right, I'm going to load two of these okay. and one of these. So that's your five. So that's my five. No, so. no other workers. No, no so more workers. I think I'm just going to go the rest of the game with just five astronauts. It is, astronauts. What, it is. So it is two, what it is. Four, five, six. I don't want to have to worry about the feeding of the life support yeah. or additional workers building out another habitation module. I'm going to keep it simple this game. <laughs> okay, it's my nine right there. So we're just going to send a bunch of stuff out. Uh, two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, there yeah. you go. All right, deliver. So this goes out. All right, so uh, Oh, come to me. Wow, look at that. Oh, all the stuff. envy. I'm so green yes. with envy right now. I should probably look at these. Huh? I should probably look at these. You should absolutely look at those. Gold modules are sweet. They are sweet. Would you like to build one? Because that is now. I'm looking at this solar garden. This is kind of this is kind of nice. Yeah. But look at, oh my gosh, this costs so much. You need two of those habitation Which parts. Two life support, uh -huh. two of the blue cubes, and one red. Which I, I, I have all that stuff. It's worth six points. 
You wow, this is great then. Yeah, because then because I'm gonna have more people coming. I have two more workers coming that I have to feed. This is fantastic. Yeah. Yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna build it. You Let's are? go ahead and do it. So. Nice, congratulations! Your first Thank gold you. module. So it costs two. Okay. Uh, it's gonna cost me two. Oh no, I don't have the. Oh. I cannot build this, Navi. You didn't have the life support. No. What are you doing? Well, That's there's always amazing. next turn. There's always next turn. There's that always. That was a. No, no. Not today. <laughs> Not today. That looked really nice, too. Okay, well, let's move on to the Moon Wonders module. This is the first time that we're doing this. Sure. Basically, what happens here is over the course of the next few turns, we're going to be drafting a total of three of these cards each. And on each card, they are double-sided. One side has an adjective. The other side has a noun. So mm -hmm. the adjective for this is shiny. The noun is solar farm. After three turns, we'd have drafted three of these. And starting with in turn six, you're allowed to build out your entire moon wonder. Mm -hmm. And a moon wonder consists of two adjectives and one noun. So you might have a shiny, shiny, <laughs> or solar a shiny, farm. vibrant university. Okay. Something like that. Yep. You have to configure your cards in a way where you have two adjectives and one noun. And when you build the module, you have to build it all in one go. Mm -hmm. There's no partial modules. Right. But at the end of the game, if you're able to build these, and these are optional, you don't have to do it, but if you're able to do it, there is usually a multiplier on your victory points depending on what you have set up or just extra victory points for the adjective. Mm -hmm. So for example, if I built out shiny, I would just get 10 victory points plus 10 victory points extra if I used this on a solar farm. Right. So if I was able to combo my shiny with a solar farm, then that would be even sweeter. Mm -hmm. So you just kind of look at what it gives you and the, the resources that you have to pay are right underneath the title. So, since we are in turn four, we're going to start by revealing a second row of this, mm -hmm. which we're going to draft from in the next turn. The next so it's kind of like getting a sneak peek. Yeah, you can see what's coming out. Yeah, and you always reveal uh, enough cards that are one plus the number of players. Right. So that's why there are three per row. And then now, starting in reverse turn order, Naveen, you may start by uh, drafting one card from the top row. Then I will draft and the third one gets discarded. Okay, yeah, I think I'll take the solar farm. Oh, okay. Let's do it. I'll take this one. Interesting. So I have, these are both shiny as adjectives and they are basically going to work the same way but the noun is different so i can either choose a solar solar farm or a university mm -hmm. seeing as the university side on this card gets me times three on my victory points for my r d lab and i've built that out as well as a multiplier on my gold module i'm gonna take this mm -hmm. so this gets discarded it's gonna go out and this is our new top row that we're gonna draft from next turn so we can just go ahead and put this in front of us somewhere. They're not going to come into play until turn six. Right. And again, the Moon Wonders module is optional, but it just kind of spices up the gameplay and yeah. gives you extra things to score for. So let's build and produce. I only have one life support and five astronauts. I'm definitely going to need to do this twice, unless I can upgrade my life support module. So the life support module does require at least one life support to build the upgrade, so... I'm not. I'm just okay. going to do this. So this is going to be three life support, so it takes I, me I know up to for four. a fact I'm going to do that also. Okay, so. I'm going to do the second one as well. So that brings me up to seven. And then I'm going to build a... I'm going to build a Here new uh, module. Okay. It is the Lunathis Manufactory. Oh, no. So if I can build... If I can produce these items, this is going to be the highest scoring type of material, Yikes. which is going to start at 42 points. Yeah. It costs a ton of stuff in order for me to produce that. But uh, hey, I still uh, will now have access to it. So it's going to cost me one of these, two of these. That's why I, would, I, I held these back from selling them. And two of my uh, tech. So okay. it's going to score me five victory points at the end of the game. And again, this is one of those modules that you have to put to the side of your board. So instead, I'm just going to put it here next to my board. Sure. And maybe I'll remove my item storage since I'm not using the multiplier aspect anyway. And I've realized I put my worker that I collected on my ship here. They should be hanging out ready to work. <laughs> Yeah. Get to work. <laughs> wow. <laughs> okay, I'm also going to do my combination mine. Oof. Again, so that's... I, I got this. Yeah, I'm going to do like it that. every turn. Yeah, I'm not right? liking that at all. So it's three of these and three. That's a no, no, never. I definitely need to do that because yes. in order for me to, to make one of those things... It requires all those things. I need I need a lot. I actually need more than this. Yeah. So I'm going to hold on to these. I also am going to go here for three tech... Uh, what did I, do I have a, sh oh, I don't have another tech coming in. So I won't be able to do this until next turn, probably. Oh, good. So I can prepare, <laughs> though. Oh, good. Am I loading? Oh, I can load three items. Ugh. Oh, and speaking of which, in the last round, this should have moved back. There we go. Oh, yeah. Nothing was sold there. Thank you. I think with my last worker, should I just get energy? I'm going to get some energy right there. 
so I can at least have some energy in the bank. Yeah. All right, that's me. Okay, I think the first thing I'm going to do is build the solar array okay. because this card does want me to have the solar array as one of my things, so it gives me some options. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that out. It's going to cost me one and one. That basically upgrades the amount of energy that you produce in one Yeah, day, and right? knowing that I have this, that's going to need energy constantly. Yes. So let's go ahead and do that. Let's go into the ore mine. Okay. Okay, I'm going to get two of those, but honestly, I'm going to spend them here in just a second. So. Okay, so uh, it's like you, you take can, these. I take in the two. Yep. Right, and then I'm putting this down there. That's going to cost me now two energy yep. and the two and ore. And the two that you yep. got. To, oh, get to get this. another one of those. A bar. Another metal bar. And you know what? I can actually do these actions in any order. So when I when I put this one here, I got the three energy. I would like to actually upgrade this advanced life support instead. Okay. So yeah, that it's makes like, sense. yeah, because then when I put it on, I get one extra. Yeah. So this is gonna cost me one of my cubes. Yep. Okay. It's gonna cost me tech. Yep. It's gonna cost me my last energy. Uh -huh. And one of these right here. One of your life support. Life support. This will now go on top. So it's worth it actually replaces oh, that replaces, yeah. because you're not going to get the points for both the cards. You just get the for points the of whichever is the most advanced. That's right. So yeah. I'll, I'll put that there. Knowing that I have two more workers coming, I'm going to need to feed, feed, feed. Yeah. The one that was on will block up one of the spots. Right. So now I will put this on here to get one extra. So we can go uh, one, two, three, four. So now I'm at six. Nice. And let's go back to the ore mine. Let's just go ahead and get two more. All right. Here you go. One. Oh boy. Very okay. good. Okay, thank you. <laughs> All done? Yeah, that's it. All right, bring everybody home. So these are my five astronauts. Yeah, I, I must five. pay, what is it, seven? So I go down to two, two life support. Sure. And then, so you're, you, you, you can feed all yours, you're good? Yeah. Okay. Very good. Mm -hmm. And now let's load our earthbound ships. So I have, I can load with three items. I'm not going to need them right now. Might as well sell them, right? Sure. Especially since they're at a really good price, even though I'm going to bring that price down. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and put that metal out onto these. So it's one, two. Okay. You do have five more. I do have items. five more. <laughs> the problem is, I with. need these to create more of them, the well, more lucrative stuff. So I think I'll hold on to those. I mean, that's I'll still pretty good. This is going to be 44 points 44 plus five. Plus I think yeah. it's. It's okay more to have more. some empty spaces. More, more, more. All right, let's go ahead and move. So this goes out. This is going to come here to medium. So I'm going to be able to sell that. Yep. And this goes away as well. Slide these down. Slide these down. And yours gets ever so closer to the 44 <sighs> point goodness. Yes. Okay. So I'm going to sell three of these. Uh, are these? No, sorry. Or. Or. I'm yeah. going to sell three of these or at the price of nine points each. Yeah. So one, two, three. So you're going to get 27 points. 27 That's points. Good. And we're selling a total of three. So does it go back any spaces? Uh, sold three to five. It goes back one space. Nice. So you're going to get 27 points for yourself? Okay. Where I'm at right now? 37, 37 plus 27, 64. Okay. So these go away. Ooh. This comes got some stuff back. working. You've got 44 points coming. So I do. But you also have this trade. going, which is like going to make up that differential. Also true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that is the end of turn four. So we're going to move on to turn five. And again, this is going to be the start of the end <laughs> because everything is so much pricier. 2X. Our bid cards are going to be 2x what we decide. Right. So now you really got to think about what's valuable to you, right? Mm -hmm. Let's see what's going to get blocked out before we make a decision. That's right. I keep forgetting that. All right, up. Fast. Be fast. Oh, it's really unfortunate. unfortunate. Down is fast. also going to be fast. Okay, that's... I don't know how to feel about that. I don't know how to feel about that. But I know what I'm bidding. Ready? I'm ready. One, two, three. Two. One. Ah, uh, yeah. Okay. So I kind of tried to do the math on what this would be like, but we'll see. Two. So it's going to cost me four because that's double. Right. right. One, two, three, four. It's going to cost you two. Two, yeah. There you go. Okay, here's your card. Yeesh. All right, Naveen, what would you like to take? All right. I think I'm going to have to take the medium route up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I don't want to deal with that. Ugh. I don't see a world where you would take two up routes this late into the game, maybe, right? Maybe. So maybe I go medium down. Let's just let's just take that. Yeah. Okay. I'll go slow down. Slow down. <laughs> yeah. I knew it. I yes, felt you know. safe in that. Yeah. All right. So now let's load, and I get to load nine items. Nine. This is the first time I'm feeling this. You feel good about that, huh? I do feel good about it. Okay. I'm just gonna load with a bunch of stuff that I'll probably need for my Moon Winter module. Yeah. So I'm going to load this and let's go five. Five tech. So it's five, what six, seven, doing? and two of the red. Oh, I see. I'm just, I'm just loading up stuff that I think I'm going to need for my moon 
wonder in the very last round module in the very last round because you do have the last yeah. two turns to build it and i already am eyeing the one that i want <laughs> over there since i'm gonna be oh, able to choose shit. first so there you go one and okay. then uh yeah you are gonna choose first huh Dang yes it. two yeah i'll do red and then blue blue red blue blue yeah need a little help getting that last blue there you go <sighs> how you feeling <laughs> no no not good no 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 well, you're about to come into a truckload of treasure because let's go ahead and deliver these. Yeah. I get this, but you get this. I do. A lot more workers. So, more workers means more things I can do. That's true. More more people to feed. More people to feed. That's okay. Right. We can feed them, I yeah. think. You're better. You you have to. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise, <laughs> so, it's all for naught. This goes out. Okay. Oobly. So everything is here. We are ready to go into our building of the gold modules. Right. Do I want to build any of this stuff? Hold on. I need to make sure with? I don't spend things that I need. You know what? I am going to build a gold module. Mm. I'm going to go with this automated shard mine. So it costs me two of these, which I have, three of my tech cubes and one energy. I'm really, really thinking myself that for, for getting energy in that last uh, turn there. And the thing that's nice about this is for one worker, I can get six uh, shards. And I really need a lot of shards because good. my Lunathus man Manufactory requires them. So that's going to go there. Oh, and I'm hoping to complete a Moon Wonder that'll get me extra victory points on oh, my gold modules. I need to be able to house these people. That's the problem. All right, I'm a little jealous. Okay. I'm a little jealous. So I'm going to build an efficient ore mine, knowing ah. that these materials are going to feed into what I have over here. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and do it. This is going to cost me two of my cubes, yep. which is not feeling very good. Parts two, uh, two of my advanced, advanced machinery. machinery. Very good. And now I have a gold module that is legal, unlike last time. It's worth six points. <laughs> there great. we go. And now I have no cubes, which is bad, but I could go here technically to get some more. Nice. Yeah. All right. I'm glad that we're building these gold modules because they are much stronger than the regular modules. Yeah. I also have to mention there are advanced ones that are a lot more complex, I'd say, that we did not play with. You can mm -hmm. choose to play with them or not, So, but they will come in the game. Right. All right, so let's go ahead and draft our new Moon Wonders card. Sure. So I believe we reveal yeah. another row another, first. Yeah, let's see. I okay. already know These which one I'm drafting. Ones. You already know? Yes, but it's nice to see what else is happening. A couple lunar beacons. Because I'm definitely taking... Remember, two adjectives. I'm definitely taking this, because I've already decided that university is going to be my noun. And so shimmering, a shimmering university is nice, but it does give me five victory points extra if used on a lunar beacon or a university. Yeah. It's only five more points, but I still like the idea of it comboing together. So I'll take this. All right, I'll take this one, this university slash uh, resonant. Okay. It's going to be 30, 30 VP. Wow. Oh, and I have a lot, lot of red cubes coming my way. That's great. Oh, this is you. That's not me. <laughs> but I'll make them somehow. And that's, that's an adjective. You're taking that, that for sure? I have to, yeah. Okay, well, I'm going to go ahead and discard this. I'm not feeling good about what I drafted now, because <sighs> Shimmering is only 15. This will give me a 30, total of 20. 20. But I guess it's not as hard to get blue. I don't know. I'm now, I'm now min-maxing. I, I need know. to not hyper-focus. I'm nervous. <laughs> I'm not feeling good. So let's build and produce. I definitely need more life support. So I'm going here. Yeah, getting same. three. I'm going to do that So right one, two, three. I have five, so now I'm good. One, two, three, four. Um, Definitely want Do it again. to start building my Lunathist thing. So I'm going to go up here to my automated shard mine for the sure. first time because that'll get me six of these shards. Okay. So let me just get these I'm going to go ahead and go to my efficient ore mine. I know I need, I need this for sure. So I'm going to get three of these. One, two, three. Okay. And can I have three of the gold, um, the ore? There you go. And here's my six. I guess I should use the times two mm -hmm. uh, item storage card now, sure. but... Okay, I think I unfortunately have to use my basic R&D here because um, if not, these people are going to die. Mm. So uh, we're going to do that. It's going to be two of my blue and two and one red. Okay. And that brings out the habitation module two. This is where I can house all my other workers at the end of the game. Nice. So I'm going to go ahead and place this. I'm just going to move this out of the way. Okay. This would technically go out to the side here, but I'm just going to go ahead and place it here. Ugh, I'm disappointed. I don't have enough to actually build a... Lunathus, yeah. right now. And the cost to do that was the cube that I earned here. So okay. I got it, spent it to put this out in play. Pretty sure I'm going to want this Lunarium refinery. So we're going to go there. It's going to be one, two, and two energy. One, okay. Two. Those go out. That gets me one more of these big gold bars. This is my this is my game, gold bars. <laughs> oh, I am now feeling the burn. I deeply need mm -hmm. tech. I ever so deeply need tech. Mm hmm you know, I'm going to need a lot of energy in the future. So I'm going to um, I'm going to spend these two workers here to get a habitation part now. 
And my last worker is going to go here for three of those tech cubes. One, two, three. So I'm going to use one and one. I guess I don't have to use them now, but I need to remember that I have enough here to build a solar array mm -hmm. for the next turn. I'm not going to build it yet, Oof. just in case I want to zag. I'm not feeling good about what I got going on. No? No. <laughs> well, I'm done. I've used all my workers. Okay, I think I'm going to use the solar array. Let's go ahead and get some energy. So okay. one, two, three. Ah. <laughs> ah. Uh, the pain oh, of our decision-making oh, is really uh, really coming out yeah, here. Putting it together is tough. Yeah, okay. all right. Let's go ahead and send our astronauts back. Yeah, everybody gets fed. One, two, five. Spend into my life support all the way down. Four, five. Uh, <sighs> I think I have six, seven total. Six, seven. I think I spent seven. So Oof. I go down. What's up? Uh, so two? two. Wow, it's expensive. It's workers, okay. but they're not working. <laughs> you can send it's, one back. It's not working. I know. Do you want to? Uh, no, no. I think no. I think I'll be okay. <laughs> okay, well, go ahead and load your ship. I get three items. I'm just gonna load it with three of these because I have so many of them. So I might as well. Okay. It's better than one point for empty spots. Yeah, I'm just gonna load mine with one of these gold bars and slowly just come on. <laughs> slow down. drip. Slow drip. Let's move them. So fast goes away. This is going to go to the medium route. This goes away as well. Mm -hmm. And then all these ships will move. So yeah. just like that. We all right. I want to get a lot of money. So I'm going to go ahead and sell these. Okay. What is the exchange rate right uh, now? You're at nine, unfortunately. No, it gets eight. Uh, no. Oh, yeah. It's eight, the market eight to the that's right. right. That's right. So you're selling three of them, right? So it's, so it's going to yeah. be one, two, three. So, so you get, get 24. 24. I mean, that's a lot of points. 24. What am I at here? 62? 86. So 86? Yeah, you're, you're, 80... you're moving. Six. Okay. And then I've sold three total, so that's going to go back by one. Yeah, back by one. Awesome. All right. That is it for turn five. The stress is high <laughs> going into the final two turns. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and move this forward. And now our bids are going to um, be 3x, right. and we're going to close additional routes. Now that we're in turn six, the slow up route is closed for the rest of the game. So because... it takes three rounds to get there, right. three turns, not going to happen. It'll never make it to the moon. Won't do it. So we flip over one of these cards, and it's basically going to tell us what you get if you choose that route. So you can mm. still choose it, you just don't get to deliver things up to the moon. Okay. So this says, if selected, immediately gain four life support instead of placing a ship. Interesting. Oh. Interesting. So in some ways, it's kind of better, right? Not bad. Let's see what actually gets closed, though. Okay. <laughs> Don't fall in love with anything. So up slow, up fast. Ooh, Ooh, that's really unfortunate. And then down medium. Things are now 3x on the bid. Yes. So last turn, it was 2x. Now it's 3x. Right. Next turn, it's going to be 5x. So Next turn is 5x. I'm dreading that. Well, I am ready. Same. Okay, one, two, three, reveal. Three. Two. Oh, that's expensive, Naveen. That is. <laughs> So you are going to go first. I am. And you have to pay nine. I do. Nine points. Yeah, unfortunate. And I have so. to pay six points. So we go down to 25. Back to where we started at the beginning of the game. So, and I, what was it? Six points? Six points. So what am I at? Let's see, 86. Mm -hmm. So it goes to 80. Okay. Yeah, not looking good. <laughs> Naveen. Uh, <laughs> do I take it away is what you're saying? No, well, it is you first. What would you like to claim? Medium. Oh, gosh. So, I mean, I could take that. And mm -hmm. just get four life support right now. I don't even have to worry about going to that spot. Right. I'm going to do it. Cool. I'm going to select this. Uh, and I don't actually get to place this out. I'm just going to gain four life support. So now I'm at four. I guess okay. I still need to get one more, though. I guess I have five astronauts, though. Well, <laughs> right. I guess I can always send one back. You, we'll yeah, see. You could. And by the way, the reason why this slow route doesn't close the same way that the up route does is because at the very end of the game, any ships that are left uh, coming down this way are still going to be able to sell all their goods mm -hmm. just like normal. So you don't have to worry about running out of time. You don't say. <laughs> I'll take it. Okay. Okay. I guess I have no choice. So here I am having to deal with the decisions I've made. <laughs> Okay, so go ahead and load up your ship then, Naveen. Okay. I'm going to take three advanced machinery. Okay. And one habitation cube. Nice. Did you get five items on five that one? Five items on there, yeah. All right. No more workers, but we got all this <laughs> coming on over. Very good. All right. So let's go ahead and deliver these. Wow, Naveen. This goes to you. Yep, I'll take it. And so does this. Yes, I also I, At first I thought it was mine, but no. that was a rude awakening. <laughs> this is going to go away. Stuff. And then I will get my stuff. On the next, next row, yeah. Next turn, which is good because I'm I'm telling myself mentally that um, <laughs> this is everything I'll need to complete my moon 
Wonder, That's what you're telling module? yourself? Yeah, oh, okay. so now I don't have to really worry about setting those resources aside. Sure. If I want to do anything, I need to do them, do that stuff with the resources there. I have, yeah. Okay. All right, would we like to build gold modules? Oh, I don't know. Do I? They all cost two. Actually, I don't have more than one of these, so would you like to? Maybe? a little gander, perhaps. <laughs> all right, I made the decision. These are way too expensive. I'm not doing it. All right. I'm not doing that it. That is unfortunate. These not are great. Doing, they are great. <laughs> <laughs> well, that leaves us to our uh, Moon Wonders uh, module. So this is the last time we're going to draft these cards. Sure. Uh, this is going to be our third card in our adjective, this is, adjective noun. This is the set. Thing. Yeah. yeah. All right. And so I get to go first. Ooh, what do you want, Naveen? In reverse initiative order. Okay, well then I will take, uh, I guess I'll take this one. The lunar beacon or shiny. Yes, I'm going to do it for the shiny because I've made the decision to do the university. Yeah. Hard university. So I'm looking, I'm trying to do a shiny, shimmering <laughs> university. Aladdin University. We'll see. All right. I'm going to go with the museum and the uh, harmonious museum. So okay. we'll try to put it all together. All right. So this is out. Yes. And whenever you're ready, you can build that uh, moon wonder during this build phase. Right. So either this turn or next turn. It might be next turn, yeah. So I'm going to start by upgrading my basic solar array to the regular solar arrays. So I have oh. to turn in one of these habitation parts and a tech. So now I have a regular one. Now I can get three energy whenever I go there. Nice. Um, I'm not gonna have enough uh, life support, even with that extra boost that I had there uh, to support all these astronauts. And I don't think I wanna send one back. Not gonna send so, one back, huh? Well, you know, I'll do that last, just in case I do end up sure, <laughs> sending yep. one back. Sure. I built this, so let's go ahead and get some energy. So that's gonna be one, two, three, oops. That's like that. I definitely need some tech. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here and that's gonna gain me three, three of those, yeah. tech. And then I think I finally have enough stuff to make one of these. Yeah. They're really expensive. Uh, They're worth 42 uh, points. Yeah. So I'm gonna go ahead and go here. Not good. Uh, all this stuff means I have to pay four of these so um, you pay shards. Four of the shards, right. Yeah, four shards, four tech, one, two three, four, and four energy. So I'm spending that all the way down. Interesting. So that gets me this one, one tiny little lunathus thing. So that's interesting. Why? Because four of those shards times eight is 32. So you turned them all in for the difference of 10. I'm just wondering if there's other things you could do with it. Well, the issue is I can't claim a route yeah. that'll give me more than one item right. at the moment. Right. So that one Might item as well put is some solid gonna be that. <laughs> yeah, stuff on that. Yeah. So there's those. Maybe So if you're loading it on that ship, you know then one of your astronauts has to be fed. Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. Yeah, because there won't be space uh, for me to send an astronaut back. So let's just go ahead and go there now. <laughs> yeah, I don't want you to the get the one, two, three. And then with my last astronaut, do I go here or here? What is the price of a an ore right now? Uh, an ore? Oh, it's seven. It is uh, seven. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna go full. I'm gonna go full, uh, shard. full shard. Yeah. So six, six shards. Wow. So, all right, six shards. Mm -hmm. So I'm just taking those. We'll see what we can do. That's a lot. That is everybody. That's a lot. So it is if, a lot. If you get on the last ship, uh -huh. all right. If there's like the last one, six times eight. That's wow. It's a lot. Back to you. All right, so you're all done. I am okay, done. I'm going to be constructing a lot. So let's go ahead and construct the shard mine. This okay. one cost me a cube and a tech. Nice. Okay, that's going to come on down here. Let's go ahead and build the advanced solar array. So it's going to be a cube and two of these. Okay. So that goes now here. Wow, look at you building. I'm building. And the last thing I'm going to build is the advanced ore mine, which cost me one of uh, each hey. cube. So one, nice. two, and three. And these are all worth points. Yeah. And this is all before placing workers, which is great. Yeah, so that's very good. Go. So now you can activate everything. Now I can go do. Yeah, so I know for a, for a fact I need to feed these people. So let's get this person over here and let's get myself four. Okay. So one, two, three, four. I know I want to get this. So three energy and three um, ore, please. Yes. Sorry, I was uh, baffled by what you have going on. You have way more stuff. Yeah. Than I have access to. Here's your ore. Don't have points though. Yet. Yet. That. Yeah. Hopefully it turns into something. Well, you gotta. Oh, because you're about to get them here. I am. All right. Let's go ahead. And the reason why I did this was so I can get more. So let's get four of these, please. Four more ore. Yeah. Oh my gosh. This is bad. <laughs> okay, Perfect. there you go. You need the times two multiplier item storage. I do. 
Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I do. Yeah, I know I'm going to need more uh, life support, so let's go ahead and get another four. Okay. One, two, three, four. So wow. now I have ten. ten. Yes. And then I'm going to go to my shard mine. Can okay. I have two shards, please? Two shards? What are it? It's the pinkish oh. purplish one, yeah. You gotta get these resources onto ships, though. Yes. Uh, well, we're gonna go into the Lunarium Refinery and turn okay. two of these and two energy. Okay. And I'm just gonna literally do it again. So then we can do it. So you get two of these bars. Yeah, and then two, and then down one, two. Wow. There we go. Oh wow! Is that, that everybody? That is everybody. Everybody's tucked in. All right. How many workers do you have, or astronauts? Uh, seven, I believe. Wow. One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh seven. gosh, I should have built another habitation module. <laughs> it, it, the the cost of that that cube was like excruciating yeah. to have to get rid of it because it didn't allow me to build any of the the um, gold modules. I see. Wait, yeah. do I have one more? And actually, I have no idea how this happened, but I'm pretty sure I took this action. To get those three the blue three cubes blue. earlier. Maybe I just never placed my, my oh, astronaut. Maybe you pointed to it. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Let's go ahead and send them all back. Sure. And pay your life support. So two. seven minus five is two. Four. And then Four. load your ship. So I'm going to load. Seven. I can only do one item. So I'm going to do the big one. Okay. I'm definitely going to load these two on here. This can take seven. Yeah. Oh, no. One, oh, two. I'm in trouble. <laughs> this is gonna be one two <laughs> turns of pain <laughs> uh, well i gotta look at like what oh, do i need no. to reserve i need what? to make sure okay I'll, I'll toss this on here what have i done might as well okay and then, I, I think i might send a, a worker back why i don't know don't send a worker back look what look at all the magic that that they've done for you they're so expensive send these these the ore or the well, shards. those ore turn into these that's the thing yeah but you can you know what make You're... more of them next turn that's so right. Just fill the rest. It's Let's better than it. one point each, right? So how many how many can I put back on there? Four? Four. All right. You are very right. Yeah, I would totally max that you out if I were you right. because that's eight X yeah. what you would get. And plus I can just for one worker here, the one yeah. worker I'd send back yeah. and go and Yeah. Okay, but did you you, you spent your life support? I need to spend seven now. No. Oh, okay. Uh, down to three. That's not good. All right. We are fully loaded, so let's go ahead and uh, and deliver these. Okay. So my fast the ship dog is coming in. goes over here. So does my medium. Mm -hmm. Hey, hey. And then your your slow ship right slow there. Slow ship, yeah. So then these will move. And, oh my gosh, this yeah, is going to be so magical for you. Juicy. Okay, so my fast ship is going to sell one of the blue. The, so 42 points. What that's... is it called? It's a Lunathus gem? Yeah, that's it. That's okay. exactly it. Okay, yeah. so 42 Ooh. plus 80. So uh, 122. 122. Get yourself a poker chip. Yeah. Hey, here, can you put that over there? There you thing, go. Please? Thank you. So I get a You're almost ship. lapping me. I think you're going to have a moment of lapping me here. <laughs> um, only one of these are going to be sold. So there's uh, go I back. Moved, I moved it. Uh, one sold. Yes, it will go back. You want to do it now? Yeah. Okay. Might as well. Yeah. Okay. You, you do it after. Very you, easy to forget. Well. Yeah. yeah. So this is going to be three. This is maxed out. So what are the uh, three? Eight the times shards. three. So 24. Yep. And then it's going to move down one, one. two, three. Yep. Three to five have been sold, so it'll move back. But you do get 24. So let's get you Thank at you. 24. We are one, two, three, four. Oh, it's at 26, 146. Yeah. Monique. All right. So you're doing great. Well, you get to sell now. I do. So two of these. So it's going to be 44 plus. So uh, yeah. Uh -huh. And so you had no space on here, right? Because no, it's only three. it was okay. three items. Yeah. So yours is seven items. You're going to get plus five. So, so 44 because they're 22 44, points each. Yeah. And so it goes down by two. Uh, two, yes. Because thank you're you. selling two of them. And two, uh-huh. And then uh, plus the five. Plus five. So, so it's uh, 40... 49. Yes, 49. So where are you at right now? 25. 25. So I can go back one up 50. What is that? Uh, 50. 74? <laughs> 74. <laughs> Math is so hard right now. 74. Yes, perfect. Okay. And then you already moved it back. Uh, two. So two, it does not move back on two. Oh. Yeah. No, I think one to four sold on the right. It says one to four sold, move back one. That's right. You're very right. right. Ah, I don't know okay. what I'm thinking. There so you I want to make sure that we keep this honest Thank you. <laughs> and fair. All right. Well, that is it. I'm going to go ahead and give you your, your spaceship back. Sure. And that's it for turn six. We are now entering the final turn of the game. Yeah. The most expensive and most... Five uh, X. Everything culminates to this moment, I think. Yikes, yikes, yikes. Are you ready? Uh, yeah, we have to see what... Uh, so we know the medium routes are technically blocked out, right? Uh, yes, these two will be blocked out. Yeah. So let's go ahead and do that now. Get some special cards. So for the slow, slow route, route closed. If selected, you immediately gain one temp worker instead of placing a ship. You don't need to feed this astronaut or oh. house them. I have no idea what will become of that <laughs> astronaut. Yeah. And for the medium route... Uh, you immediately gain three ore instead of placing a ship. Three wow. ore? Hey, hey, the ore is this one, right? Yeah. 
Okay, That's interesting. Not bad. And you know what? I'm not sure we may have done this incorrectly in the last turn, but we're going to do it correctly this time. Sure. We're going to block out the routes. So this says up slow. Because it's up slow, we don't close this route. Mm. It just gets blocked. So the fast route is available. Okay. Yes. Okay. Yeah, yeah. So I thought it was going to be this blocked bit out. a little interesting. Yeah. So uh, we still get a, a down route that is blocked. The down fast. Is fast. Blocked. That's perfect, actually. Yeah, okay, are might you ready as well to stack it up. to bid? This is the most important bid mm -hmm, mm -hmm. of your life. <laughs> yeah. uh, but it's also 5x. It's 5x what you end up. Ready? I am ready. One, two, three. One. Three. Okay. All right. Okay. <laughs> that costs so, you 15 points. Yeah, I know. I don't know if it was worth it, but it's yeah. too bad for me because I had my two out there. That's, yeah. I so on the last turn, I, I did. I spent my three knowing that I would. Well, I told myself back. that I didn't need, I didn't care to go first ever. And then I, I didn't like, mind halfway like through. First, yes. I panicked. So anywho, this is where, this is where we are. So that costs you 15. Yes. And so this is going to cost are, let me see. you five. One, two, so three, four, five, 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 okay. 31. There we go. Basic okay. Math. Can't do it. That was painful. All right. Well, shall we start taking these? Yeah. I'm going to go here. I really wanted that. You really wanted that. Well, I hold seven items. Mm. All right, I'm a little nervous. You going down? down? Yeah. Going down. <laughs> I would have taken it. Yeah. Oh, really? <laughs> just so you know. Yeah. All right, what are my options? I can get three, three or. or... Just, that's better than two items here. <sighs> you don't have to go through the whole process of making stuff. Do I care about or, though? Or is the, has the worst exchange rate right now, and I don't use it for anything. Did or get sold on the last one? This should go back three. Oh, because it's yeah. like zero or sold? Two, three. It's at nine. It's at nine. It's at nine. No, it's nice. Yeah. All right, I'll take it. Yeah. I'm going to take a three or. Three or. That is, that is kind of nice. Okay. <laughs> you convinced me. I, I didn't do anything. Are you going to take the up? I, yeah. All right, so I'll why don't you go ahead and load it as well? I'm going to load a cube. A cube. One big cube. Habitation. Habitation cube. All right, let's deliver these. So you're going to, you're going to go ahead and get that habitation sure. part. Thank you. You have these as well. Thank you. Which is really nice. And then I'll take these. Uh, it doesn't really matter to move any of those. Yeah, no need. Because that's it. That's this is going to be the end. This is the end. And this is deeply needed. You I got needed, a lot of stuff too. I need to set these aside though, because I've I've dedicated these yeah. to my my moon Your wonder. master plan. Yeah, my master plan. Master plan. Okay, so for the last time, starting with you, Naveen, would you like to build a gold module? No, I will <laughs> not be building. <laughs> Definitely one. not. Definitely not. I can't afford them, so we're going to okay. just not even worry about that. Um, no more Moon Wonders to draft, so we're going to go ahead and go straight into building and producing. Sure. So before I forget, I already have a kind of a plan. I'm going to go over here to get my life support. Yeah. So one, I'm going to go ahead and three. pick up some life support as well. Okay. One, two, three, four. I'm definitely going to need some energy, so I think I'm going to do this twice. So this is going to get me a total of six, so just like that. Um, I'm going to do this now while okay. I can. So I'm building my Moon Wonder, and I'm going to build a... A shiny shimmering university. Okay. So in order to do this, I have to turn in three energy. So one, two, three. I need to turn in three of these tech. Let's do that now. Um, and then one habitation part, two tech, and two, two advanced, machinery. advanced machinery. Yeah. So I've completely built my shiny shimmering university. So did you get everything you wanted out of it? I, what do you mean? All the points you're going to get. I think so. Okay. Because well, to to the best of my ability. So okay. the shiny is gonna get me just ten victory points. Okay. If I had used it on the solar farm, it would have been an, an additional ten, but mm. it's not the case. Shimmering is just fifteen victory points because the it would have been five additional extra if used on the lunar beacon. Oh no, it is. Or university. There you go. So this is twenty points then. And the university, which is the really sweet one, is gonna get me a multiplier on my R and D um victory points so that's going to make that times three and my gold modules so these two together times three nice and now i just realized that i wanted to upgrade, upgrade. this. that's why i but asked. I don't know if i have enough stuff you, yeah that's exactly why i asked because i'm i'm going to do mine but at the very last second because oh, no. i'm going to be upgrading mine hold on well they they require uh the you need another cube, I would imagine. Well, I'm just now realizing that taking the ore is actually was actually a big waste because mm. uh, I wanted to be able to turn these in to make another one of those um, gems, the Lunathus oh, gems, yeah, uh -huh. so that that would only occupy one space on the ship. Okay. So that is one of the benefits of turning right. those into yeah. one because mm -hmm. it's less space and because sometimes the exchange rate will get cheaper. Yep. And had I been able to do that, I would I would have been able to load the rest of this More stuff of on stuff. there too. But uh, unfortunately, yeah. I can't I can't turn it in again. So I'm just going to get a habitation part. Okay. And I'm going to build, I might as well just build something that I can build, I guess. And I think I'm just going to build out my second habitation module. Okay. Because <laughs> it just cost points, right? that part. Yeah. 
That's so funny. Okay, oh, that's funny. I'm just gonna put it over here. Sure. It's worth five victory points. Why not? I was debating between that and the Lunarium Refinery, but the Lunarium Refinery is one less, one fewer victory point. And it costs you more stuff. And it costs me, yeah, it costs me more stuff, but it's because of the benefit that it gives you. Five points, might as well. All right, well, that, that's and all my you'll be able to feed everybody, yeah? Huh? Yeah, okay, I, went, yeah. I went up there. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build an advanced shard mine. Okay. So let's go ahead and put that out. It's one of each cube type, so it's the big one, the red one, and the blue one. Mm, okay. So now I have that. Nice. That's worth eight points. I know for a fact I'm gonna need more life support, so let's go ahead and put that there. Let's get four more. One, two, three, four. Okay. I'm gonna go to my efficient ore mine. Okay. Uh, three and three, so I'm gonna go one, two, three, and may I have three of those. Yep. Beautiful ore. Okay. And there then go. I'm going to go ahead and convert uh, this ore by using my lunar refinery. So okay. I'm going to do it twice. We're going to go one and two. Okay. So it's going to cost me four of these. Yep. And four energy. So it's going to go one, two, three, four. Okay. And now I have to be careful. Can I have the uh, two items? Oh, yes. Items? Two gold bars. Two oh, gold sorry. Bars. It's not gold. There you go. Gold looking bars. Yes. I know in order to score my things, I need a uh, advanced um, machinery. So I'm going to grab one of those. Okay. And then now I got to be very careful here. So I should probably not make a mistake and we should probably try to try to get to these. So I'm going to have a resonant, vibrant museum. Oh, okay. So resonant it requires four of my red advanced okay. machinery. So let's go ahead and put that in. That's going to get me 30 VP plus five VP. Uh, extra if it's used on a museum or citadel. I do have a museum here. All right. So let's go ahead and do the museum. It's going to be a habitation part, uh, a ore, a shard, yep. uh, a technology, as well as an advanced machinery. All there right. Goes. So that's there. And that one helps me. I get 4x multiplier on my ore mines and my shard mines. Wow. So that's really good. Doing just fine. And vibrant is going to cost me four life support. So we're going to go down one, two, three, four. Okay, so those are all there, and that's just 10 VP. I did not meet the, the bottom requirement. Okay. And lastly, I'm going to go ahead and go to my advanced ore mine, and I'm going to get four ore. So let's just grab that now. Wow. Three so and you can four. pretty much, uh, no, you can only load three. I can only <laughs> load three. Well, still. I'll just toss it on there. Yeah. Sprinkle it on there. We're both going to have some extra. Yeah. Okay, so send them back. Everybody Pay goes back, so I have exactly seven. That's what I have exactly five. So I lost five. all of it. There nice. You go. We can all it's good. Everybody stayed alive and living. healthy. Happy, hopefully. Yeah. Uh, we'll go ahead and load your your ship. Okay, I'm gonna put these two bars. Well, what do you you have access? Right I'm gonna load these. One, two, and. One. Oh, but these are at nine. Oh, what's gonna sell first? I'm gonna load them all with my shards. Okay. Because one, two, three, four, five. Nobody six, else seven. is competing you. Because by the time I go to score for this ship, mm -hmm. you're gonna have decreased the value of. The ore mine, the ores. Right, 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 right. By I think just just less than what these are gonna be worth. <laughs> Two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay. Nice. That's done. All right. So here's your moon wonder. Oh yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank it's you. like hanging out on Earth. My vibrant resonant museum. <laughs> okay. So uh, nothing happens here or here. Okay. But you are going to sell. I will sell that. This one. So that is slow. Uh, and then these are gonna move down. So why don't you go ahead and sell that? This one. So that is a, uh, it can house seven. So there's only one thing on it. So yep. it's six plus uh, 22. So 28. Yeah. You got 28, 28, Do I get my 27. First poker chip? So 70 plus 27, 97. 97. No poker chip. <laughs> Not yet. Almost there. Almost there. Um, you only sold one. I did only sell one. So uh, when one sells, then it goes back. So it sold one and then one back. Okay. The other two? These two, mm -hmm. we sold zero. Yeah, nothing happened there, so right? So that goes so all the way to... off, and this goes down to eight. No, I think that you're supposed to go three spaces over. This one? Yeah, it says zero oh, sold yeah. three spaces over. Okay. I think I definitely made the right decision yeah. about putting mm -hmm. the shards on there. It's good. So there's that, and there you go. Perfect. All right, I believe we are now at the end of the game. So mm -hmm. let's go ahead and do some end game scoring. Okay. This is, I feel like this is still anyone's game. It so looks like a big 97 spread, to 131 but right now, But look right? at that. Yeah. It's coming in. Be a lot. All right. So first, we're going to sell the rest of the items that are mm. still en route to Earth, and then something that I totally forgot: any leftover uh, st uh, resources that are on the moon that you do actually still sell them. That's right. So there are yes. there are end game victory points that are in this box for just all the other items, which means I should not have built that habitation Yeah, you module. know what? I, I know exactly what you're talking about because you were just like, well, I guess I'll get five points. Yeah, you put, have these spots yeah, here. Yeah, I put two workers, two astronauts here to get one habitation All part. Right. 
to build that for five points. I would. Yeah, you didn't really care to do that, right? Right. So you would have rather put the the one worker here. One Are you letting me there. retcon this, Nadine? Have at it, Nadine. <sighs> Have at it. Ah, well, it makes I sense, get, right? I get it. it makes yeah. sense. Like it's very easy points. to forget okay. something like that. Yeah. All right. So to be clear, it's because I had put two two of these astronauts here for that habitation part just to build this. Right. When really I should have just put them here. Because there's so a I'm box right here back. that basically has end game scoring for leftovers yeah. on the moon, and so that's that's exactly it. Yeah. Awesome. So that's gonna be six nine nine of these. Yeah. Right. And each one of those is worth what two points? Five, eight nine yeah so all of your other all of these these are worth one point each right all right so that is nine shards and three or yeah that's so that's, that's 24, 24. Points. yeah that was 20. 12 times two yeah because both are two and you got nine of one three of the other so that's 12 times two that's 24 points versus so, the five points so the 19 module. more points if i lose by a margin of 19 or less then we'll, it, we'll call it even it's a little asterisk. <laughs> yeah. okay so you let's be doing pretty good let's sell these these uh these stones, these Let's, resources. These thingies. So starting with this. Yes. This ship. So this is the medium ship. Mm -hmm. So you are going to get, what's the going rate for these? Uh, it's at 22 okay, times so 2. Times 2 is 44 plus 9. Plus 9. 53. 53. Oh, okay. Wow. Wait, here okay, we go. So here we go. 1, 2, 3, and then 50. Well. There we go. We got myself a chip. 100. Boom. And 50. Good yes. job. 150. Congrats. Oh, you. I you, got myself a chip. You. You left me in your dust. I, I and did. You're about to do Here, it again. Let's, let's clear some space. This is bad. Let's make life look nice. There we go. All right. All well, right. Uh, that was a medium route, right? It was a medium route. You have to bring th these down by two. Uh, by two, yes. So, one, two. And then this down by one. Uh, one. The or. Yeah. Okay. So now we're going to sell. We don't have to move them over no, here. Actually. No, that's fine. Yeah. So now we'll sell these resources. So two more of these. So the going rate is what, 18? Uh, 18 times two is 36. Okay, so 36, let's go ahead and do that first and so, move that down by two. So down to 36. So you're at 86. 86. There we go. Wow, and then four of these. Yeah, so it's nine four times four. four, so it's another 36. 36, uh-oh, here, I'll let you do it. Oh boy, okay, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, add 30. So 92 plus 30, one, so two, tw <laughs> hold on. 122. 122? AKA 222, boom. Wow. There? Okay. Is that yes, right? That is right. Okay. So you did these. So go ahead and move that down by four. Four, yeah. And then eight points for this. And then eight points for this, which will then move this over and I get eight. So it's going to be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I don't you get to all, lap you. You almost lapped me. Oh. I wanted to lap you. Naveen, you're doing mighty fine. I. How did this, the, the tables have turned? <sighs> So it didn't get enough astronauts. Slow and steady. Let's yeah. see. Uh, yeah, the astronauts was nice, but you, you're gonna score. Okay. Well, well, what was that? That was slow. Did you did you feel that? Was that, was that, that seven? Was seven here, yeah. You had all seven. Uh, I believe I had all seven. Okay. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven Times of these eight. shards. So fifty-six. Fifty-six. Yeah. Okay. What am I at here? You're blue. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Yeah. So eighty-seven. Eighty-seven. Two. Uh, one eighty-seven. Yeah. Yep. One eighty-seven. Not quite where okay. you are. Yeah. All right, so these go away. We don't have to move all this stuff now. No, but we do. We do earn points for our leftovers. Oh, uh, yeah. So you leftovers. have three of them that are still on moon. So it's a uh, two, four, six plus one random resource, so seven total. Seven. Okay, so you should be at 37. 37. And you have what? I think I have 16 of these left over, okay. right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Sixteen. Times two. Plus two. So, so 32 plus two, so 34, right? Um, yes. All right, that should go to 121. One, or 221. 221, that's so right. I'm in it. the 200 cloud. 200 you club. Cloud. Now. You also get one point for these, your life support and energy. So I have oh, okay. three. Yeah. I have two. A grand total of three. <laughs> one, two for me, and three for you. One, yeah. two, three. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now let's score our uh, moon base modules, sure. and then we'll end with a moon wonder. Okay. Okay, all right. So I think I only have uh, this, 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 or this. Right? Mm -hmm. Four of them. And the gold modules. And the gold modules, that's right. So it's going to be uh, three, six, plus 10. So 16. 16. And then I have two of these. It's plus, so 16 plus 12. So 28? 28, yep. So where am I at yeah, right let's there? Let's go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus 20, 32. So 252. So 52? Yeah. Okay. We're moving. We're moving. All right. And you? Um, okay. Well, I have eight, 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 that's uh -oh. 32, uh, 32, <laughs> okay. 33, 34, 35, 36, 36 plus five so is 41. 41, 47. Oh no, 47. Yeah. Okay, 47. 
46, so you're at 86? 86. Wow, 286, what's going on? 86. What is going on? <laughs> I am afraid of what's coming next, but I think we now need to score our moon one day. Yeah. So we're returning to the shiny, shimmering university. Okay. And shiny gets me 10 victory points. So it's just 52 to 62. 62, yeah. Then Shimmering gets me 20 victory points because it's just 15 base at plus an extra five because it's the university mm -hmm. as well. So 62 to 82. Yep. And then the university is going to get me times three on my R&D victory points. Unfortunately, I did not upgrade this upgrade to the it. advanced. Oh, uh, yeah. Uh, that would have been so sweet. So it's so just 15 points for that. And then times three on my gold modules. So I have 12 times three with 36. 36. So 36, 36 was 15. 51. Yes, 51, I think. Okay, so 51, 50, what is this, 83 plus 50? So 33? Yeah. 333. Three, 333. Lots of points. All right, that is where, that's it. Okay. End of my game. So we had a vibrant resonant museum. <laughs> so for vibrancy, we get 10 points. Okay. Okay, okay so. It's not with a biodome. Okay, 96. All right, to be resident, it's 30 points plus 5 VP for uh, it being attached to a museum. So 35 points. Okay. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So 35 would be... That's 5. That's 5. So 30 would be... So 31. 31. Okay. Oh, no. Oh, my gosh. What is the ending here? And the mean? museum. <laughs> it is VP times ore mines and VP... 4 VP times ore mines and shard mines. I have the advanced of both of those. Oh. So it's going to be uh, 4 times 8 plus 4 times 8. So, so there's 64. 64! <laughs> yeah. What? This is why I built all these out, because uh, I identified 64, that part. 65. So 95. Oh, you did not break 400. So <laughs> 395. 395. Okay. It's 395, Naveen. To 333. 333. Monique. Wow. Wow. Oh, that was, that's quite the spread. That is quite the score. Good job. Thanks. I thought, I thought I was feeling pretty good, but it's because you had all those long, the slow route slow trips routes, that were yeah. still coming. And uh, I did slow on the way up and a lot of slow on the way down. I did not think to, to try to do a slower and steadier race, right? Because like you want that, like, I want, I need the resources now to go do stuff, yeah, which is also, usable. Yeah. If you want to send up more astronauts, uh, I don't think five was enough in my case. I thought mm. I settled. I thought, you know what? I'm going to just, I'm just going to send gonna up five. five work. Gonna yeah. Make it work. But that's. You're, you're you're decreasing your amount of actions per turn. Yeah, yeah. Right? Totally. Like you can just send up astronauts for the sole purpose of feeding the entire community. Yeah, like right? if you gain one astronaut, but you have the advanced life support. Yeah. It, it, that one astronaut can go net three, yeah. you know, uh, uh, life support. Right. Because it itself needs to be fed. But if it, you put it on a four, then, you know, yeah. you gain three for everybody else. Right. That's the way I kind of saw it. Interesting. Know. Yeah. Well, this is one of those games where you will get better at it the more you play it. Uh, it's not it's not like an instant, you, you can instantly figure it out. Yeah. And so for people who are a little bit more advanced and have been playing this game more often, there are also challenges that come in the game. So you can play with those. You can also play with these faction cards that spice things up a little mm -hmm. bit, give everybody kind of their own asymmetry yeah. to it. And if this is your very first game, the game also has beginner cards. Right. So that is something that we use the first time we played. Yes, the beginner very cards, usable, very helpful. They, they give us goals to meet during certain rounds. And if you're able to meet them by those rounds, then you get points. It kind of so, holds your hand. It kind of tells you like, in round two, if mm -hmm. you've built the solar array, yeah. you'll get five points. Exactly. So it's like, why would I want to do that? Probably because it's very important to me. So yes. it, it it helped us learn the game. It shows you the, the tempo of the game mm -hmm. with those cards, essentially. Yeah. And then again, in a four-player game, there is a second uh, fast route, mm -hmm. uh, which is also uh, opens up the board just a little bit more. Mm -hmm. Well, there you have it. That is Lunar Rush at two players. If you have any questions about anything that you saw here today, please feel free to leave a comment down below, and we'll get back to you as soon as possible. If you are interested in this game, there's a link in the description down below where you can check out the Kickstarter campaign. Also, thank you all so much for watching the video. We really hope you enjoyed it. If you'd like to see more like this in the future, please consider subscribing. Thank you. Thanks. Bye.